So at the moment, you need to decide whether buying a home or renting is the best option for you. Well, don't worry because Auntie V is here to help you make that decision. Because in this video, I'm gonna be walking through the pros and cons of buying versus renting. Plus, at the end of the video, I'm also going to be giving my personal opinions because I have actually experienced both situations. Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronia and on this channel, I talk about all things to do with money, your career and having a positive mindset for success. So if that does sound great to you, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification below so you don't miss out on any new videos. So as some of you will know, I always want to start with the basics. So let's first talk about what I mean when I refer to renting versus buying a home. So when you're renting, of course, that means you don't actually own the house. So you'll usually be paying a landlord to stay at that property. So before you move in, you'll probably pay a deposit to the landlord. And then usually every month you'll pay rent to actually stay in that property. Now that may or may not include additional bills like utilities or cancel tax. Again, it will depend on the landlord. So usually when you're renting, that means your landlord will have a lot more responsibility when it comes to things like maintenance. So that might include things like the structure of the property, electrics, dealing with heating or any gas appliances. And then usually if you're a tenant you'd be doing the general upkeep of the house so things like cleaning for example now if you choose to buy the house instead essentially you are owning that property and there's a couple of ways you can buy the house so if you've got a lot of money you could potentially buy the house in cash right so how much is the house what just three hundred thousand pounds that's chicken change of course i'll pay cash do you not know who i am or you can do what most people do and get a mortgage and that's basically getting money from the bank who will loan you the money to buy the property so now we know the basics let's actually walk through the pros and cons for renting versus buying so firstly, I want to talk about the pros of renting. Now, I did mention this earlier, but one big pro is that you don't necessarily have to deal with all the maintenance costs because your landlord will do that instead. So if the boiler breaks, that's not really your problem because your landlord will have to deal with it. Yeah, hi. Um, the boiler's broken down and the roof's leaking. So when can we expect you? The second pro is that you don't necessarily need a huge deposit when you're renting. So I think the maximum tenancy deposit is usually about five weeks rent. So that can be considered relatively easier to get when you compare that to a deposit for a mortgage. The third pro is that you have a lot more flexibility and that basically means it's a lot easier to move. So of course this would be great if you really want to travel or you just don't want to stay in a place for a long time or you know that you might need to change locations often for work for example. The next pro is using the power of compound interest. So rather than saving up for a deposit which could take years you can actually use this as an opportunity to take that money and actually make it work for you which means you could benefit from compound interest. So let's say rather than saving 30 thousand pounds for a house deposit you could actually invest that money and let it grow and compound over time now let's say you invested that money into the stock market and you were able to get about a seven percent return on average after 20 years that thirty thousand pounds could actually be worth over one hundred and twenty one thousand pounds though in this case i'm not accounting for inflation of course you have to remember investing does have risk and you aren't always guaranteed to make money every year but i'm sure you get the picture so let's move over to the cons now and of course one of the things is that you don't actually own your property and that could be a disadvantage because it means the landlord does have a lot of control so they could increase the rent at any time plus if the landlord decides to sell the property that could mean that you'll need to move out and then you'll have to find another property to live in as well as that if your landlord isn't great or you don't have a good relationship you could end up having ongoing problems as well hello hi uh, i've called about three times now is this boiler getting fixed anytime soon oh yeah when did you call uh about two weeks ago yeah 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 i'll get right on it thank you Another con is that rents do tend to rise with inflation. So if you do decide that you're gonna rent for the rest of your life, even through retirement, you're gonna to need to factor in those rising costs. Whereas if you've owned your house and you've paid off your mortgage, that essentially means that you own your house outright and you won't need to make any more payments. Obviously in this scenario, I'm not talking about payments that might account for things like maintenance, but don't worry because I'll be talking about that later. And because housing is usually one of our biggest expenses, having to rent during retirement could be difficult. So now I wanna talk about the pros of buying a home. So as I mentioned, earlier a major pro is that once you've paid off your house it's yours and that essentially means that you don't have to worry about paying for somewhere else to live the other advantage is that your house could potentially increase in value and that means you could potentially make a profit if you decide to sell the house or you could actually use it as an opportunity to pull the equity out and use it for something else and when I'm talking about the equity I'm basically talking about the market value of the house minus the mortgage debt 
And this could be considered quite useful in retirement, especially if you're looking to downsize. Because if a home has appreciated in value, some people might then use that equity to buy another house. So as an example, let's say you've got a £200,000 mortgage and 10 years later, the house has appreciated in value and it's now worth £400,000. Even if you still had a mortgage of £200,000 on that property, that still leaves you with another £200,000 in equity. So if you're looking to downsize in retirement, you might use that equity to basically fund your next home. Alternatively, you might take that £200,000 equity and use it for something else. The other pro is that because you own the property, you have a lot more control when it comes to things like renovating, which you might not have with renting. Okay, so we need a new bathroom, a new kitchen. Do you know what? Let's just change the garden too, because we can. Plus, the other good thing is that most people will have an opportunity to get a fixed rate mortgage. And that means during that term, you know exactly how much you're going to be paying every single month. So the payments might seem more stable when you compare it to renting. And then the other pro is that a lot of people do get satisfaction from owning a home. In fact, the Homeowners Alliance survey found that 91% of homeowners felt that their home actually contributes to a positive sense of well-being, compared to only 79% of renters. Here are your new keys, man. Thank you so much. I'm finally a homeowner. So if you're looking for psychological benefits, there you go. So are there really any cons to owning a home? Well, yeah, there are. Firstly, buying a home could be considered a huge financial commitment because if you're planning on getting a mortgage, most likely you'll need a deposit and that can be considered a huge chunk of change. How much? You are joking, right? And don't forget about all the additional costs to buying a home as well. So you'll need to consider things like valuation fees, surveyor fees, legal fees, and you might even have additional mortgage fees as well. But if you are looking to buy a home, I do have a video on how you can actually save for it. So I'll be sure to put the links in the description below. Also, once you've bought a home, you might find that you have additional maintenance costs as well. So rather than having a landlord deal with it, as a homeowner, you'll have to stump up the costs. Oh my gosh, the roof is leaking. I need to call the landlord. Oh wait. You're also less likely to have flexibility, especially when you compare it to renting. So if you find that you do need to relocate, it's a bit difficult to just give one month's notice and be done with it. Most likely you'll either have to sell the property or rent it out. But what happens if you want to sell the property and house prices fall? You could end up selling at a loss. And like I've said in my previous videos, markets can go up, but they can also come down. Also, remember you'll have to factor in fees if you do decide to sell the house. Plus the process can take months. So you do really need to take that into consideration. And if you decide you want to rent the house out, you'll need to factor factor in how long it's probably going to take you to find a tenant. So what's my opinion? Do I think you should buy or rent? Honestly, it really depends on your situation. Now there are clear pros and cons for both renting and buying a house. So it is something you'll need to think about seriously. But in my personal opinion, again, this is just my opinion. If you know you want to live somewhere short term or you'll be moving every couple of years, and also maybe if you don't have any dependents, then renting might be a better option because you do have that flexibility. On the other hand, if you're looking for somewhere long term, or you might have dependents, so you're looking for somewhere more stable then buying a home might be better again it will depend on your personal circumstances but i do think we need to be careful when we say that renting is dead money because technically you could say that the interest you're paying to your bank when you have a mortgage is also dead money now personally i do technically have a mortgage because i bought this house with my mum but some of you guys will know that i have rented as well and that was especially useful when i needed to be closer to work so i can definitely see the benefits of both but as i always say make sure you do your research before you make your final decision and also remember that even if you're renting now that doesn't stop you from buying a home in the future so i would say do what you think is best for your circumstance so if you did like this video then be sure to give it a thumbs up as it really does help to support the channel and let me know in the comments are you team rent or team buy i do post every single friday so if you would like to know more then please do subscribe to my channel and i will see you next week